as life lives, as the birds fly, all winter long, where the spirits are frozen. In the winter, what is it, only 90 days of winter? What does it start on the 21st, the first day? 31st is the 11th day. 30 days of January is 41. 28 of February is 69. And 20 in March is 79. What is that? 89, 90 days. I may have missed by one. So when they say you freeze in hell, I guess you do. Because it takes 91 to get a spirit. If you don't have 91, you ain't got a spirit. I'm telling you right now. And these U's and the N and the S and the H and the M and the N. And I can go on and on. They all have different kind of spirit sticks that go along with them. So if you need 91 to make a spirit, how many letters would that take to make an exact 91? Well, first of all, let me tell you how it works. The letter S is for the spirit and for the soul. Within the soul, okay, or in the spirit, the letter S has a 1 and 9 count because of the birth and the one spirit you get after the birth. You go from 9 to 11 because the stick of life in birth was on this side, okay, inside inside the water world. But the minute you're born, the stick moves to this side. So 9 in Roman numerals moves down to 11. And whatever you move, God is automatically uh, 11 high. When you go to 10, God is 11. When you go to 11, God is 12. He's always going to be 10 plus 1 more than you. He has to be what you are in numbers and one more. Because he has to be that extra digit. Because he starts off, when man's at 100, God's at 1,000. Simple enough. Um, where was I going with that? I wanted to say something else with that. Simple enough. Anybody Chinese or Asian out here that watches some of my videos? Do you want to know why you're that color? Here. This is the Asian people. This is to all the Asian people. Okay. And, well, some of the Asian people are a little whiter than that. But that would, is that close to my skin color? Not even, right? But if you take a look inside here, I also got a colored fellow with me today. He's called Mr. Bernard, the maple syrup man. Let me see what color the maple syrup man is. Whoop. Looks a little golden to me. Hmm. Put a little red blood behind that in some veins and underneath another layer of skin. And I guess we'd have ourselves a black man. But sadly enough, when this starts out, as it says, it's creamed, okay? It's creamed. Do you see what it says on it? Pure pasteurized Canadian number one white. See that? And I'm a white man. I must be a cream number one white man. You know what I think how they got white man? I know people hate when I talk like this. I think this is what happened to white man. He learned about all the goodness and everything else, and he did the complete opposite. That's the way it works out. You know when you get pushed around and pushed around and pushed around? After a while, you're either going to walk away or you're going to push back. If society links it to itself to fight your own battles, eventually you will push back. You will speak nicely, but yet in this world, people that don't understand life, they will just push back until somebody gets hurt because they don't understand. They weren't brought up that way. Why did I learn it? Um, yeah, I had a, I had a couple of uh, push me pull me uh, games in my life, but a fight. The only time you want to fight is when the frustration builds. Imagine you have a guy in front of you and he's a policeman, and he's doing absolutely nothing right, and he wants to take you in for no reason at all, and he and he stuffs stuff in your car and he's taking you in. What do you do to a guy like that? You know what I'm saying? I figured this is what we're gonna do. These are my first marks 
This is the stick of Moses. I'm going to redo this stick, but just in colors. And I'm going to have maybe three, four, five of these sticks so I can pass it out. And eventually they'll become the walking rod that Moses split the sea, that bloody denial, that brought pestilence into the air, that had hail, that burned like fire. We're going to have a few of these, every single one, okay? And you cannot be touched with one of these sticks. This is the stick of God, okay? One day this will be our power. No more than this stick, and we will able to speak our word. We cannot kill with this stick, but we are able to silence everybody to give us our time to speak of liberty and to see what the other side sees. And if the other side doesn't listen, you touch them with a stick. And right inside of them, they will flush and see the truth behind the rod. This, my friend, is what the Romans are all about. This, my friend, is what liberty is all about. And not the liberty to run a rod wherever you feel to ride. This is the liberty of the mind, the elevation of an inner space in which needs to be lifted up just a touch so that the two minds can mingle together. When one mind is released too much more than the other, it shall take on the ego to live the rest of its day. But it, what leans back to the truth of all knowledge, it'll be taking on the spirit inside of the soul. The spirit inside of the soul is very dangerous. You see the animals. Have you ever seen the way the animals run around? You think they're that stupid? They're not that stupid. Man is strong. Now without this stick, my friends, you know what this stick is, eh? This stick is... This is basically what it is. Hold on a second. This is the Christ of cross of Christ in this, this world. But this is God's angle. This is an X. With the stick on this side, it gives you a value of, it, it looks like it's an 11. But on this side, okay, that gives you your value at 9. This is the stick that goes on the letter N in the alphabet. N is owned by the E world because it starts with an E. The complete opposite and connection inside this world of N is 4. 4D. Four 4D four and 413. And 13 is 1 and 3 is 4. It will be N and the letter M. N, M, 4D. 40. N, end of M one thousand and forty. Forty. Do you know what we're walking forty on? We have walked the forty of the Monopoly board. Now the question is, how much time do they give us to catch up to the trains, to get on that train and head where we need to be to be in the arrival of the conscience world that is coming very soon? When is that time coming? Will it come before the Illuminati come out and devour us? I have seen at least eight or ten planes today throwing chemtrails, but they weren't the extended chemtrails we normally see, and they were flying high, and they were thick, and they were going zigzag today. Were they following the wind? Why in the world would the Illuminati's and evil why don't they just blow everybody up? Why don't they just kill everybody? What's going on? I don't get it. The other thing I don't get, you know what I would make as the first play against the evil bankers? And I'm going to be nice because that means they'll be nice. All I want to do is every single tavern, cavern, and cave, okay, throughout the world, okay, should release a toxic gas that will let no one but the animals live under the ground. That's all. That's all. Because you do know, I've been in a truck before. Do you know if they start stopping the trucks, okay, 
up to 10% more than normal each week. By the period of less than two months, half the trucks will be off the highway and you won't be getting any food. They own enough and have enough money. They can shut down and pay all their employees, okay? But then it wouldn't be what they want. They don't want them to have anything. Everybody, they want everybody to suck. You know why we have to suck? Because when you start sucking, okay, the big thing, when you start sucking, you know you got everybody there on their tail. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the gas doesn't come in if there's not a little bit of air. So they suck. Now you keep them sucking forever and ever and ever and ever. Just let them suck. It means they're living. They're getting what you need done. They're not getting any higher. And we have no, we have, everybody is calm. Like that, there's no problem. But everybody knows that it took them so long to get to this point that in 20 years from now, if everybody starts to produce children at such a rate, it'll crush the amount of people that are going to be here, instead of being 300 million in the U.S., they can boost it up to 700, 800 million. In, in Harley, you can double that in no time at all. Just keep making babies until there's enough people and then bring them up in your own private schools and, and all these little things and teach them your way under your religion. Bring under a new religion in which all it is, is it's the loyalty of the ten. That's all it is. And it states for liberty number one. You bring them up under the Statues of Liberties of 1776. And has anybody ever seen that 1776 on the stone? There's a J. That J means A and D of C is I and E of F caused by G. Because G is the levitation of H and I. It's a complete row. I mean, when you move a Rubik's Cube, when you, when you move a Rubik's Cube, I mean, you, moved, you just move three on this side, okay? And you move three on this side, and three on this side, and three on this side. But in all, this one in the corner, it belongs to this one as well as it does to this one. So you've moved more than just one. So this, all the center ones would be equal to their own four that you moved. And then each corner, these two and these two. So you'd actually move eight. Okay. You moved eight. There's three, six, nine, twelve. So you moved eight of twelve in which the one in the center actually went nowhere but turned around the amount of times of once. So although this only turned once, you ended up turning all of these, the totality, against only one of these, which is like 12 to 1, but it's actually 8 to 1, and we can even lessen that, because if we go to the next row, I mean, where is the next row? Is it on the side or on the top? Maybe it's on the bottom. Maybe it's not there at all. Maybe we've come to the void. You got a roof? Like, when you see a dice cube, how many sides are on a cube? Six? Not all the time. Okay. I'm not sure if the world's turning this way, right? Okay, see the rows can still turn while it's inside my hand. But the dead center of this cube is only for the whatever, however it works in there. It's empty. There's only 26, but it comes out square like 27. What else was I after? The cube. The cube, yes. So we get down to the bottom row, which is not actually there, but it's there. In fact, this whole thing is not there, except for the top one, of course, and the bottom one. But the world is here, okay? So, I, I mean, I'm onto something. I shouldn't be on this right now. I'm, I'm going all over the place. Um, I bought like 10 books, okay? Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. I mean, look how nice that's starting to look. Look at the color. Just right, yeah. Maple syrup. Roll that stuff up. So, now you know how the color skin came to be of what it is, right? We're a different kind of syrup. One's a maple syrup, one's a honey. Hey, honey! Yes, dear? Oh, you must be from deer blood. What can I do for you? Wow. You're sticky. Oh, I am? Like maple? Like, who in the world is going to say, am I sticky like maple? Sticky like maple. When in the world do we actually say maple syrup? Let me take a look at this. If you reverse the M and the A, it can be ample. It could be an example. If we turn it around, it would say uh, 
P, it, well, if you look at it backwards, it's actually 6L Cyrus. It's actually telling us about Pluto, okay, and Cyrus. That's what it be, Syra, but it's a Syra. The other one's a honey, the honey, okay. So where are we next? Where did we start? Where did we come from? Um, if you want to say 143, all it says of the one, which is in the five section, five section of four and three, which is seven, which is a combination seven, which means a passage, an elevator up, seven up, two seven ups, and one orange aid, because when you're getting green to go up on the seventh gate, you need to have an orange sunshine for her. For your for your heat, your heart. Seven up orange crush. Coca-Cola. Creation of the egg and the angel of I. Now I'll say cola. Because that little square dot you see, that's it, my friends. That's the eye of that's who God is. That's that square of God. Everything else is inside. Now let me get on to the next one. Where was I? Oh, I don't know that. I'd be really screwed up. I'm at home. All right. Hey, what's going on? You know what I thought? You know what I was thinking? You know what I was going to think? I almost thought. I started thinking about it. This. You see, if they were looking at, I mean, if they want to do anything on the, you see, can, you, can you see the way it moves? Okay. See, it can, it can move all the way around, right? But when it's hooked up in this V here, In this V, there's a V, I have to hold it because I don't, it can, this can go down, 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 but then it would have to, it, it, let me see, show you, it cannot pass this, you see, it can pass this, it cannot pass this bolt, okay, because this arm, okay, they don't work for nothing up there, you know what I'm saying, when they work this arm, okay, okay, you see, they don't, this, this arm here is a pivotal, okay? If it'll do something here, then it'll end up doing something uh, I, I can't even, you know what I'm saying? Here, it's on this angle. You see it can't pass that bolt, so it don't, has to start about here. From here to here, that's the reason, okay, for the extra time on Earth. Just that. Who is that? Anybody see? Look. It's the center. It's God. He's in the center and he's all around. He's the reason for everything. That's why you can't pass the center. You don't need to anything. Or anyways, the center goes up and down. It's a goddamn elevator. He goes from floor to floor checking on us. He's got like a chicken house out there. Where's all your chickens? Hey, God, where are you at? Anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but... And here's another one. You notice, can you see the two different worlds? It's two different parts of the world, you know what I'm saying, and the in between the equator. It's, it's something like that. I don't know. I've never sat down to do it because every time I see a crop circle or a planet or something, I can always tag something along with that, okay? We do not start perfect. Nothing will or ever will be perfect if you stop, okay, just wanting to have the door open for any vision and the understanding that goes along with the vision. Or the vision ain't worth too much. Well, at least I don't think so. You got to want. You got to want to put something together. It doesn't matter what it is. What am I putting together right now? Every single element that connects us to who we are today. Homo sapien, ho, you're a ho. You're a mo. Hey, I'm growing a mo. Hey. Sapien. Sapien? Well, that's almost like sap from the tree. Homo sapien. Homo. Moho. Tell me a word. Tell me a word, ho. You know what that means? Heaven's egg. Tell me a word. Omega, talk to me. God's the egghead. What do you think the pharaohs wore those round caps for? Just like my head. 
Before I came down, I said, God, I said, you got to do me one favor. I said, I'll never get to be a king, and I won't even have enough money to buy the crown. I said, so you do me a favor? There's two things I don't want. I don't want a coffin when I die, because I want everybody to see the egghead you gave me. And I said, that's why I'm such an egghead, and I don't want a coffin when I die. No, I want to be put in a body bag, except I want helium in mine. So just in case I'll be awake, and I wake up, I'll be flying high. Is that all I think about in life? No. I think of sex. Sex. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey! Two hands. You have two hands, you can have sex. You have a foot and a hand, you have sex. But sex with one hand, you don't need the extra foot. Do you know with one hand, you automatically have nine? And you even have the thumb. Okay, enough silliness. What's next? What is next? What do you want to know? What do you want to know? What do you need to know? The numbers will grow the more people shove in my face different kinds of things. Steal it's, I mean, it's too simple for me. Number one, in all actuality, is in the one spot for Mercury, right? But it seems like the planets are not actually set up that way. It seems like Jupiter is now in the one spot. This is what I see. Somehow, if we can just think like this for a minute, remove the moons from Jupiter, because you do not need a moon if you're straight across, above or below, one uh, V, right? When you do all those crop circle signs, if you create a V, you can't be any more further than that V away. And the reason for, for not being any more than the V away is because when you flip the V this way or that way, you're going to be covered in the center, you're going to be in the middle and then the bottom, or it's going to be the bottom flips up, and then it's going to be in over here. So you make it in between. I mean, it's not down here. So, um, so yeah, so Pluto seems to go in spot number one. And what's really funny is Saturn is right next door. The same thing is on the telephone, but upside down. I saw this on um, I saw this on something, and uh, then Earth was actually 135 degrees down from Saturn. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. Insane. It's just insane. It's exactly the way I see it. It was right there, but upside down. And not only that, if you had to set the Monopoly game against it, right? I don't know if you would be putting Go in position number one. There's a chance we start after visiting jail or at visiting jail. Because on Go, you're actually nowhere to go. You haven't had a life yet. You know what's funny? I did a I did a cross channel against the Monopoly board, and the last thing that was sitting there was the dog lying on his side. Even the dice got crossed right through the center. What's going on, boys? I saw the crops, uh, the the stuff in the the chemtrails today. I'm definitely not wrong. It was just that was it was a, just a weird day. First of all, the moon was high in the sky today at the other end of the. Uh, 3,000 miles away. I saw the moon today, my friend, for a couple of hours. And that was thousand, at least 1,000 miles away or 2,000 miles at the other end of the earth. Someone's got to be sleeping. The moon is somewhere up. Is the moon up? M-O-O-N. I look. O-O-K. Up. Uranus and Pluto. But Uranus was at the far end at one side. And Pluto was at the complete far end at the other side. Maybe that's why, actually, um, they because you you can jump over odd numbers, can jump over the even numbers, and odd numbers can create a passage into the even numbers by putting three and nine together. Okay, creation with the planet and coming into Saturn, uh, upside down world. Um, well, that's basically all it is. Try and see. If Saturn is upside down to to uh, Saturn is upside down to Pluto, 
Try and look at the moons or something. Try and see if Saturn is upside down to Pluto. If it is, my friends, that's the first reason, okay, uh, for the six and the nine. Jupiter is a different story, okay. Jupiter is the center for the ace, electronics. Dead center, where you think Jupiter doesn't do that alone? Let me tell you one thing, big time Jupiter, electronics. Electronics. Jupiter. Jump for the sky. Earth. The Earth. That's that. You know what I think the Earth is? I think it's a little bit of metal inside an element that we eat. We grew up to be these human beings. And now they can control us when we talk and whatever they decide to do with whatever the Matrix does. They usually let it run the way they want. And because of the folates and the magnesiums and, and anything anything what you don't think is an ele as a chemical element uh, that can be uh, electronically manipulated uh, you gotta think again okay when you build something you build it so you have control over it somewhere else they made these games online they have control over it somewhere else they're not allowed in they're not allowed in I guess we know why God hasn't shown up, right? We're inside, what can we call it? Is this the world of hate? Is this the world where everybody wants? Where no one's happy no matter what, regardless? Is this the world where they fight when they don't like what they see? Is this the world where we love and want to love even still to love? It's almost like this is a world where we just do what the freak we want. That's about it. That's about it. Can't do that. It's, I mean, it's a shame. Wouldn't it be great to be able to do whatever you want, anytime, steal this, that, and the other thing? No, we got to fix up this system. Because once you have your liberty and you want to take your girlfriend fishing and do her outside in the woods, you're not going to feel a scene that you're going to have, hey, a guy's up at the top, he's taking pictures, he's going to sell it to the media. You won't be able to publicize that anymore. All this bull crap is going to stop. Okay? It has to stop. It has to take a slow down. It's got to go a little bit to a level where it starts to be fair again for most of the people, like all of the people, you think? The letter S, the letter U, the letter N, the E is a reason, okay, because they start at Jupiter in the center, and they swing around Earth over Mercury around Uranus and around Pluto. There's two openings in the E. Here's the top part of the E. And here's the other part. Here's one part of the E. The belly of the whale. The three rows of shark's teeth. The E world. E N D. How many letters did I use? N D. N D. E N D. No. Stop. Stop. How come? Because E is the sound of the N. So who owns the letter? Who owns who? Hold on a second. Corridor number five. Jupiter. What is to the left of Jupiter is four planets. And what is to the right of Jupiter is four planets. So all Jupiter has to be is put a candle on top of its head and say, what do I do with which four? Which side is the syrup on? Is it the, you see now my head becomes a V, okay, imagine I had a V, and this becomes the letter M or W, or a V and a one, and a V and a one on the other side, four, five, and six, a W or 13. Hey man, I'm Jupiter. Look what I got! 
four planets. Which ones are they? I don't know yet. I haven't checked. Depends how I hold my fingers. If I hold them like this, I'd see only Venus and Neptune and Uranus. Oh, you see my Uranus? Oh, I better go hide it. Four and four planets. That's the way it works. Jupiter, okay, is the core, okay, to, to Mercury, Earth, Uranus, okay. Now the complication comes with Pluto and heaven because they go together, okay. And nothing is done until Pluto is done. And that means the female on this planet, not until she has her baby, is it in the heaven and Pluto is done. Now we can move it to eight. That's why in pull, it doesn't go, it, there's nine balls under the double digits, but there's only one nine ball and one one ball. They're both yellow. Together it makes 19, which is the spirit. It's purposely done that way. They both attack the eight ball. Okay. The 15 ball, I'm, okay, I'm off. The 15 ball is the omega. It's the A and E. The two most powerful things is the energy of the angel. That's the way I look at it. It's this matrix. It's the power of this universe and what it can do. It's insane. I am, I am talking to you online. I am doing a video. I am drinking a little bit of that maple syrup. Presenting myself as the golden boy. Well, then again, we'll add on a little yellow. So anyways, look at this world. What do you think it's powered on? What is this world powered on? Seriously. Seriously. Are we getting screwed or what? Monopoly shows nobody should own an electrical company and nobody should own, um, um, uh, what do you call it, waterworks. This world is powerful, my friends. We are being so fooled. The way I feel... I definitely feel that. What chapter are we in? Oh, yes. We're in the chapter where it says, I feel someone's bullshitting me. Oh, you know what? Even if nobody is, I'm going to imagine it so much that I'm going to feel somebody's bullshitting me. So no matter who's going to come to me and tell me they're not bullshitting me, you're bullshitting me. But I'll still take you out for a beer. Roll you one up. Smoke with your old buddy. But I don't want to believe you. That's all. Don't need to believe no one. But we're going to end it at this. 32 minutes is enough. All I know is, like I said in my last one, everybody's going to hoo-ha and be against me. But um, two things I want to tell you right now. I just saw something on a car. It was a Volkswagen. A name. Oak Lake Tear, whatever. But if you really reverse that word, okay, it really says, I am the tin can god. It, no, it says, I am the toe, I am the toe, the tin, and the egg. I don't know what that means. The egg, the toe, and the tin. Oh, because the name of the German thing reversed was that, that's what it was. Now, everybody keeps telling me. Don't compare it. It doesn't make any sense. Are you serious? The crop fields, the tractor lines, that picture in the back, the slant that I see it in, the two swords that are in the pitch, the garbage I see on the left, and it all means nothing. This is the where I'm going to let it go with this. Venus, O. Oh. Mercury, O. O and O. Both means water. Right? Water? Is there water in here? I thought it was maple syrup. Hold on a second. At what constant is something called water? Because if I boil this, the steam will come off. So therefore, there's a water content. In fact, this is about all we'd be eating without water. Basically. We wouldn't be alive without water. We're going to let it go at this, and like I said, this is the way I see it go.
This is who we are right now. Okay. When we die, just as you die, from the back end of your pants, straight up right through the interior of your gut, in through your, out your ear, it's a release. And that is the electronic release for your mind to return back to where it will return to, to the state it was in before it left. Before it left the schoolhouse in the sky. And on choice, if you want. God will say, what game do you want to go into next? And you're going to say, I want to go into Dr. Mario because I know all the tunnels. But I need unlimited lives. He says, well, you take unlimited lives, you take a big chance. So he gets into the game and he dies and he dies. And for 30 years, he's inside that stupid game just like over here. And he keeps dying. He says, oh, God. Oh, God. He says, get me out of here. You know what I'm saying? It's just like this life. Like we never die. He's like, oh, God, get us out of here. So you tell God you want to go into a game and you want it to be like this and you see on the wall it says, it says, rules, regulations and reasons and it shows you the maximum tie. It'll never let you go there forever. And you can even get your hands cut off and you can get them back. You die and you come back, you get your head chopped. But don't worry because in that world that you choose, we have no feelings. So if you see a girl, just another person, just another whatever it is in the game, Roger Rabbit. You can become Roger Rabbit if you want. You can become erased in games. You can become movie stars in games. God can put you into any mind you want. But right now, we're in the skins. You know what I'm saying? We're in the skins, the flesh. We are the end of the stage of Homo Rocky Sapien. We have passed our elements from one place to the next. And the stars that are high in the sky are only shutters. It is a shutter world before your eyes. You cannot always see the exterior of the skies. You cannot only see that there is one point to tell you. Somewhere in the south, okay, as I saw a vision today, was Mars. I think it was the southeast. Actually, I saw that in a picture, that they put Mars in the southeast. That means that they put Mars in the southeast, and they put Saturn north. Uh, no, one is uh, northwest. Okay, does that work out in the sky right now? That's what I saw in a picture. Sometimes you just have to work with exactly what you see in somebody else's picture. Okay, God set this whole thing up, okay, that if we are close enough to the element at hand, okay, that picture, if it's one shot away from you viewing it, you will be able to see what you are missing if you look close enough. They always made it one away. This is the one away. This is number four and six. This is number three and seven. This is number one and nine. This is number two, five, and eight. And this is exactly the purpose of it. Two, five, and eight. They keep you on one side and the other. Raphael, 72. You see, and the other thing is, you ever see why they do this? Take a look at the king. Which eye does the king have? Which eye does the king not show? 